Welcome in to Coastal Machine, my friends. It's so good to see you and it's so good to see Cody again. Starting in 2004 and growing from 3,500 square feet to over 35,000. Focused on oil and gas to start, majority for the longest time, but expanding into aerospace and defense. Today, Cody has been gracious enough to allow us to show off his factory with all of these Mazaks and DMG Morris, millions of dollars in technology. Cody, thank you so oh, much, yeah. my friend, for yeah. allowing us to showcase uh, you what you got me. going on here. Yeah. No, looking forward to it, yeah. Was thank that you. a decent intro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> Did yeah. Did I get some you of good. that right? Yeah, yeah, you got all of it right. Yeah. No, you're so good. 2004 till now, let's take yeah. a slow walk and, and let the audience see what you have going on. But 2004 till now, You've been focused mostly on oil and gas, oil and gas which yeah. is why I see these giant yeah. turning centers with yeah. massive pipes. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. So started in 2004, four partners, um, only oil and gas. I think we're in South Louisiana, so that's everybody. Everything everybody knows around here is is oil and gas work. So um, started out 3,500 square foot shop. Might have even been a little smaller. They started in a smaller one before that, uh, but yeah four guys and they, they started going and then now we've grown into 36,000 square feet, um, all in gas, aerospace and defense. Yeah, so. It's incredible. I want to talk a little bit, if it's okay with you, you've been doing this quite a while, Yeah. but you kind of accidentally got into this with a love for computers. <laughs> yeah. And then you said, you know what? I'm tired of working at Target. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to yeah. give this whole manufacturing thing yeah. a try. Yeah. But along this journey, going through QC and growing within the industry, understanding machines, can you discuss some of the ups and downs of that roller coaster ride working in oil and gas? Because those pipes don't look easy to move, first yeah. of all. And I can only imagine what happens if you scrap them. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, oil and gas is crazy. You have. There's some simple work, but then there's some very complex work, which is the work we tend to go after. And it's the larger stuff where it's just ink and nail, um, some hardened steel and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I started out, I only, I got introduced into the manufacturing industry by my buddy. They needed some help at a, in the shipping department at a shop he was working at. And I went there, quit Target, um, <laughs> was going to school for an IT specialist at the same time. Said I was gonna take a semester off and try to just, you know, make some money, put some money aside. I took a semester off and I never went back. They put me on a machine over there. I moved into quality at another uh, company and then I came here 15 years ago now, actually this month. Uh, just made 15 years and started in quality, kind of worked my way up into operations and sales and now general manager and also partner for the past two years. So Ah, yeah. you're the man, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. We're moving a little bit into aerospace and defense now, yep. right? You've invested in some great technology, which we're gonna stumble upon in just a minute. What was, I guess, the first reason why you wanted to get into defense and aerospace and the huge investments you've made? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the downturn of the oil and gas, really. It's everybody knows it always happens there's always a downturn in oil and gas whether it's every four years six years or something like that but it's bound to happen um and we experienced it in 2019 2020 around the COVID time um and we said you know we gotta we have to diversify the company we need to um we're using pro, pro shop erp and they have a lot of the as9100 standard built into the into the erp system so we were like, man, we're almost there. Let's just go after AS9100. It's going to take us a while before we even see any aerospace work, more than likely. Um, and we did that. We, we dove in. Uh, we wanted to diversify because we, we didn't want to have to keep laying uh, employees off. Good employees. It, it, it sucked. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted better for the employees. wanted to make sure they had a stable job over here. Um, and we knew the aerospace and defense market is just, it grows. Um, and it doesn't downturn that much. Uh, so. We figured getting to aerospace and defense when all in glass slows down, we can have the aerospace and defense to kind of stabilize things a little bit that way we don't have to really lay any employee and lay any employees off. So yeah, you made me want to give you a hug, man. <laughs> so many people look at their as as, as their as numbers, right? Yeah. I remember being looked at as a number myself, especially during COVID. You know, it's what have you done for me lately kind of a thing and have you been able to produce? So yeah, you made me want to give you a hug. <laughs> I guess that's why all these guys are smiling yeah, around yeah, here, right? Yeah. I mean, and they're so polite and kind here. So that's that's super cool. Yeah. I want to bring up, as we've talked about oil and gas, it's very obvious to me, uh, as you've moved into defense as well, that technology matters to you. You've upgraded 
um, not just your your physical hardware, but your software. And you mentioned ProShop already, yeah. but you also have Datanomics yeah. and paperless parts, which I believe you rely on both of them quite heavily to yeah. understand your machines. Yeah. So what I'm trying to bring up for everyone watching, why would someone consider wanting to work with you guys? What would you say makes you stand out as an opportunity partner? Yeah, I would say the technology and the amount of investment we put back into the company. I mean, most of these machines here are brand new. Uh, I think we might have one machine that's over 15 years old. Other than that, the average probably year of these machines is anywhere from seven to 10 years old, maybe. Uh, so, and then it's investing in, in new exciting equipment like the pallet changer right here. Things dancing uh, right yeah, now, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's showing up yeah, for us, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that and then technology, you know, we're, we're fully paperless over here. Um, so we have computers at every single workstation, every single machine. So all the guys have instant access to work orders, prints, uh, programs, models, anything, set up sheets, everything's digital. Um, so, I mean, that's it. That's, that's how you attract, especially that younger generation. Um, that, that's, they, they don't, they want to be somewhere that's exciting. You, you have to excite the younger generation these days. Yeah. If it's okay with you, as we come, not to the conclusion, but as we get closer to the end of, of this you know, 35,000 plus square foot facility, I would like to expand a little bit on that. Mm -hmm. Because as I'm walking around, one thing I notice is I can breathe. Yeah. Fresh air, that's important. I've yeah. walked into places where I could move the smog. I had to swim through it almost, right? <laughs> yeah. I look at the floors and some places you walk into and you could eat off of them, but maybe I don't want to eat here, but at the same time, it's not dirty. Correct. It, this is yeah. just a concrete floor. This yeah. is traditional, this is, this is, this is clean. Yeah. It looks like you 5 S. It looks like you have Six Sigma, lean manufacturing. Yeah. You obviously have, with these technologies, you have you know the, some of the best equipment on the planet. This is how we attract people. And just right around the corner, you have a robo drive with automation. And we're constantly playing the game of, oh, I can't find people. There's no <laughs> yeah. skilled workers out yeah. there. And I don't mean to mock anyone. I apologize if it sounds that way, but we hear it all the time. Yeah. However, I would also make the discussion, Cody, that folks like yourself have a much easier job finding those folks because they want to to right. come explore. They want to be a part of something like this. Yeah, 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 for sure. Because in, in, especially in this area, there's no other shops that's doing aerospace and defense like us. So that's another important piece to it is we do something different. So, um, you know, that younger generation that you can say you're building parts that go on rockets, that go on missiles, that go on rocket engines and stuff like that. And it's, it, it's cool. And that's, that's really what attracts a lot of them. Let's finish on what the future looks like when it comes to growth and expansion, ideas, concepts. I've walked around your, your beautiful building. You were kind enough to give me a tour. We're giving a little one to the audience as I see a giant datanomic screen right here, which <laughs> yeah. is always fun to see. Yeah. Um, but I've walked around and it looks like there's room for expansion. You yeah. have great greenery out there and uh, areas that look like, hey, if, we, if this video takes off and starts trending around the world, we have the capability to grow, right? So what's the future Absolutely. look like at Coastal Yeah, Machine? I mean, we can easily add on another probably 20,000 square feet in the back. Uh, we sit on about almost five acres of land. Uh, and then we have a second shift running as well. So we can easily add people to, to the second shift. And that's our plan right now. Uh, we're currently looking for new talent, people that, that want to come here and especially work on that second shift to, to keep these five axis machines running, uh, swapping out tool and parts, whatever it may be. Yeah. Perfect answer. I look forward to, to stopping by in the next few years yeah. and seeing what that yeah. growth is like. Yeah. And I would imagine such a beautiful area to live in a beautiful part of the country, but cost of living might be affordable it is. for a lot of folks. Yeah, it definitely is. I, I have one friend. This is a real story. I wasn't expecting to tell it, but I have <laughs> a, a great friend who is working one of the leaders at Google. Okay. and moved back home to Louisiana because of the cost of living, started his own machine shop and thriving out here. So yeah. for people who might want to consider moving to this area, it's truly beautiful. And yeah. your food, I was oh gonna, my that's what gosh. I was gonna say. I said, don't forget about the food because you can't get this food anywhere else in Louisiana. Just Lafayette in general, uh, this area, it's, the food is just, it's true Cajun culture here. So. Yeah, and that Cajun culture, man, it makes my, I'm starting to drool already <laughs> yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. My taste buds starting to get crazy. <laughs> Cody, thank you yeah. so much for allowing us to see a bit more of what's going on. If you want to know a little bit more about Coastal Machine, give these guys a shout. What's your website? Coastalmachinesupply.com. Coastalmachinesupply.com. Give these guys a shout. Certainly worth giving an opportunity to work because they're growing and they're growing fast and they're investing in their future. Also, if you're young talent out there and you're looking for a great place to work, 
I mean, I was not joking about everyone smiling here, and including Cody. He's such a laid back guy. Uh, this is a wonderful place to work. Reach out to them as well. They're obviously hiring, moving into growing first shift, working in second shift, adding automation. Who knows what the future holds, but I can tell you it's going to be good. Thank you all for watching. This is Coastal Machine. This is my buddy Cody, and we all are cheering for their growth in U.S. manufacturing. So see you all again soon. Thank you for watching. Thanks, man.